that the map was made at a time when Antarctica was ice free, which would be many millions of years ago. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the historical discoveries that have been met with major skepticism from experts. You know, there's enough money to be made by everyone who's involved in antiquities that he doesn't need to make fakes. But some people uh, are too greedy. Number 10, Akambaro figures. The discovery of these clay figurines in 1944 caused a debate on Earth's true age. Some of the dolls even depicted humans domesticating dinosaurs. It was argued that the only way this could be possible was if the two coexisted at some point. Some were convinced this was proof that the world wasn't as old as we thought. However, an examination revealed the truth, that they weren't ancient at all. Thousands of objects had been found in exactly the same area, excavated and suspiciously restored by the same inexperienced person. Further testing estimated that they had been created only a few decades or so before they were found, and not in 2500 BCE as originally posited. There was no patination, nor a coating of soluble salts that characterized all ancient ceramics. Despite the proof falling through, some are still asserting the validity of these to this day. Son absolutamente fáciles de, de, de repetirse, de, de copiarse. Tanto es así que los compañeros cuando están estudiando arqueología, eh, unos a otros se, hace, se juegan este, trampas. Number nine, Father Crespi's heirlooms. Who knew that one man had access to years worth of history? Father Carlo Crespi Croci was a priest who had spent decades collecting heirlooms that he was given while on mission trips. Throughout his life, he collected over 50,000 pieces, including a set of mysterious metallic plates. They ended up causing controversy due to some believers claiming they were made by aliens and found in a golden cave. However, researchers concluded that they were modern-day art pieces coated in metal. The most likely case is that they were created by those helped by Father Crespi and given to him as a gift. A gift? A gift for me? While not as thrilling as aliens, it certainly makes more sense. Number 8. The Shroud of Turin since being unearthed in the 1300s, the legitimacy around this piece has been constantly questioned. Perhaps the most cherished ancient artifact in the Western world, the Shroud of Turin. The Shroud of Turin seemingly bears an imprint of a human form. The assumption by many religious believers is that it was depicting the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. But while some regarded it as a holy icon, others weren't so sure. Even some religious leaders have agreed that it is not what it is purported to be. There have been countless tests done to properly date the shroud, analyzing everything from the material to the alleged bloodstains. Radiocarbon dating has established that the material was produced between 1260 and 1390, but fringe theories continue to insist that it's the real deal. How about the Shroud of Turin? No, I'm afraid not. But we do have the bathrobe of St. Peter. Number seven, ancient artifacts of Kimbaya. The Kimbaya civilization existed in South America around 500 CE. And when some of its artifacts were discovered, small golden statues seemingly depicting a flying vessel, there was an initial wave of excitement. Some conspiratorial modern sources are adamant that this was proof of the culture's interest in aviation, while others have seen them rather as complex depictions of various animals. So what's the truth? While no one is sure, serious historians and archaeologists believe these figurines hold no major significance, that they were just art pieces common to that time and that modern people have projected a larger story onto it. Pre-Columbian culture knew about aerodynamics. Number six, the jade discs. If there's one thing we've gleaned about older civilizations is that they took their burial rituals seriously. One prime example is Chinese aristocrats being buried with intricate jade discs, presumably to help them on their path to the afterlife. They were clearly important to the society um, that created them. They're found in Chinese tombs, elite burials, um, often in large number. These discs have left historians confused, as they were incredibly detailed for the time period. Jade is notoriously hard to work with due to its hardness. The fact that they were able to carve into it without the help of modern tools is baffling. 
The closest guess is that they were made via brazing. And we are quite sure they were largely worked with mineral abrasives. So through the abrasive process of rubbing the surface, the jade one way or another. How they came to be may always be a mystery, as they were created during a period that preceded recorded history. And one more thing, you must find the jade monkey before the next full moon. Actually, sir, we found the jade monkey. It was in your glove compartment. Number five, America's Stonehenge. The actual Stonehenge in England is mysterious enough. The so-called privately controlled America Stonehenge is not quite the same. It's been claimed that the structures and stone formations are proof of an ancient pre-Columbian European colony or settlement. When viewed from the center of the site, each standing stone lines up with the sun on important days of the year, the solstices. But this site in its entirety, while of some archaeological and geological significance, has been meddled with in numerous ways over the years for commercial gain, among other motives. This, of course, has made it even more contentious. But again, serious historians and archaeologists maintain this is not what its mystery hypes it up to be. Number 4. Talpiot Tomb Finding the final resting place of Jesus of Nazareth would be the finding of a lifetime, for both religious and historical reasons. While some stated to have found it, they certainly haven't been able to prove it's the real deal. The Talpiot tomb was revealed in 1980, and since then, the arguments have been ceaseless. Some are adamant that names and details match up perfectly to those in the New Testament, with opposing voices proclaiming that the names were popular for the time period and therefore not substantive evidence. It's unlikely that the person or the family that came to carve out the tomb just uh, carved these things at random. They had to symbolize uh, uh, something. Some scholars have argued that there isn't enough proof to verify any such assertions. It is a fierce dispute that has been ongoing for decades, and we may never know the truth. Number three, Jehoash inscription. The existence of falsification in archival findings is unfortunately common. One well-known case of this was the Jehoash inscription, which claimed to have been renovation details for a temple mentioned in the Bible. If the inscription were found to be true, then it would have been verification of not only that temple, but other historical aspects of the holy book as well. He said it's a bone box, and on it it says, James, son of Joseph, brother of Jesus. Front page news around the world, the first concrete, carved in stone proof that Jesus even existed. However, only one study later, experts found it to be suspect. This was evidenced by the sheer amount of spelling errors and the usage of different forms of the alphabet. It's done beautifully. If it's forged, it's by a genius. Some scholars are convinced that the inscription is authentic. However, the Israel Antiquities Authority has declared it to be a forgery. Number two, the Kensington Runestone. There was a period of time when Americans became enamored with the idea of Scandinavians coming to the New World, due to Leif Erikson's journey being widely popularized. So when a Minnesotan found a stone supposedly engraved with a message from 14th century Europeans, people were curious to say the least. Most of the rune stones we have are from the Viking Age, and that would be a thousand years ago, and they're memorials for dead people. However, a study done at a local college disputed this, and brushed it aside as a more modern creation. Supporters of the stone refused to believe this, and so it was continuously tested throughout the 1900s. There is still a dedicated group who are insistent about the stone's authenticity. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Piri Reese's Map they didn't go to Antarctica and explore it, but yet they were able to draw these maps of it. We often depend on artifacts to give us correct information about a specific time period, but they're not always trustworthy. In 1513, famed cartographer Piri Rees created his world map, and it caused a sensation after it was discovered in the 20th century. Unlike other works from his period, he depicted continents like Africa with some precision. He also drew the coast of Antarctica, Centuries later, the realization of this led to further investigation. Discrepancies were found, however, such as the continent being drawn much further north than it should have been. There were also notes on the map describing the location as warm, which is the antithesis to Antarctica's climate. 
It shows the coast of Antarctica as it exists under the current ice cover. Now that's really pretty amazing. This cast major doubt as to the first-hand knowledge and accuracy of this important historical document. Which historical discovery do you think has been the most controversial? Let us know in the comments below. This is all a big hoax. <laughs> Not a hoax, a publicity stunt. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.